Hey, this is Matt with NorCal Bushcraft, and uh, today I'm going to be doing my uh, winter EDC. It's uh, we're coming in, we're in spring now, and I'm not using the system anymore. I'll be uh, downsizing with, with a lot of this stuff, but carrying a lot of the same things. But uh, since I went through the winter and I carried this EDC, I thought I'd just uh, give my few comments on on some of these items and then uh, this is also an update my this will also be my 2011 update for my EDC and what I've been carrying well I haven't been haven't made videos in a while I've uh, been super busy with uh, work and school but uh, during the month of March and into April I spent 21 days in the Philippines with my wife and uh, so I haven't had the chance to make videos but uh, school's over now. I'm out. All I have to do is work and play. So I'll be getting more videos out. So I thought I'd just do this video as a as a get into the swing of things. And uh, I don't know for like some of you guys. I don't know if EDC is some of your favorite things, but I love watching videos and topics and seeing different people's kit and and uh, so let's get right into it. I got my uh, I got a hat this uh this winter and this is a uh privateer hat and uh it's from the company Hazard 4 uh this is a really sweet hat it's uh it's got velcro on the front top sides and then like the name name uh name tape strip on the back and uh this has been a really sweet hat i can wear it just out and about, I can wear it out in the woods, but uh, I also wear it for work. I put my uh, company name tape on the front. I've got some uh, Velcro that I just uh, stick to the back of my name pit plate for my work. Um, I, I install satellites for Edition Direct, so that makes it really nice. But uh, one of the coolest things about this hat, it, because it has Velcro on the side, it's uh, very modular on what you can do. Because I'm in attics, under houses, and uh, behind TVs and just in dark places in general I constantly need some kind of light source and so all I've done is taken one of these small LED lights here a uh, real bright one that I got from uh, Lighthound and I just uh, put a piece of velcro on the back and all I do is when I need a light or something I just pop it on the side of my hat here and uh, it works perfect for just lighting up the areas behind TVs or just wherever I'm at but if I uh, need more of a light spread, then uh, Hazard 4 also has this uh, this uh, double piece of uh, Velcro with straps on it. Uh, they call it the Night Crawler. And uh, let me put the camera down so I can show you this better. Uh, basically, oh, that's a nice noise. Basically, it's uh, two-sided Velcro with two circular pads, and then they have straps and this strap uh, these straps can be for your you know bicycle handlebars um, they can go into webbing if you have uh, tactical gear and uh, what you do is one side you can connect to something like what I normally do is con just put this on my belt loop with this attached to it and this side of, of the velcro is meant to uh, take uh, a flashlight to sec securely hold a flashlight and uh, all I do is instead of carrying a head headlamp around, I just can you just can pop that right on the side. It holds really, really well. And uh, when I'm up in an attic or under a house or something, I've got my light right there. Um, really sweet setup. I like it a lot. It's not like uh, you know, it's a simple earth tone color hat. And uh, so I was just kind of messing around, trying some different things. I got some chapstick here. I popped on. The, I can pop on the side if I want to, or whatever. But uh, it's got a, a lot of cool functions to it. So that was uh, Hazard 4's Privateer hat. Um, sticking with the head, you can see here in the background I have uh, my Condor jacket, soft shell jacket um, that I used all through this winter. And this has got to be one of my favorite jackets. I've worn this 
jacket twice skiing in in the rain and it's repelled water really well so I've been really pleased with it besides that it's just just the cool factor of all the the pockets the velcro pieces you can put whatever you want on the sleeves um, this is the back side of the jacket you're seeing here and these are the the sleeves here but I'll talk more about that when I get into the different things that I'm carrying um, I always carry a, a beanie of some kind. It's normally a black one. This is just the one I have right here right now. Uh, I always carry a beanie with me, a pair of a light pair of gloves. These are some uh, running gloves, some Adidas running gloves, and these just go in one of my mini pockets. And I got one of these um, Gorgon's um, performance uh, work gear. They're just earmuffs. And uh, these are kind of earmuffs that don't go over your head but go behind your head. So when I'm wearing my hat or something and I don't have my beanie um, and it's cold out uh, my work job, I can just put this around the back of my head. Um, and these are some of my favorite things. And they just roll up really small and can go into any of my pockets. Um, next then I would probably go to like my arm pockets. There's an arm pocket on the left and on the right of this uh, jacket, the soft shell. And I just have a simple uh, write in the rain all weather memo book that I use for work, work for writing down uh, numbers, writing down uh, different tips and stuff that I need. Um, all right, the next thing that I have is uh, this arm pocket right here. You can see this is the, the sleeve. And I just carry these two light weight um, pieces here, just some chapstick. I'm always using that because I'm outside. And then I always just carry uh, earplugs with me for a lot of different reasons. Then uh, let's go on to my, uh, that's kind of like just my main winter items that I normally will carry in this jacket with me at all times. Uh, we can go down next to my uh, belt and uh, I'll show you what I carry on my belt. This is uh, the belt that I carry uh, most of the time. I also have a leather belt that I interchange in and out. This is a a bison, bison design belt, and uh, I don't use this belt for any heavy weight things. If I'm going to be carrying anything, a lot of things on my belts, then I'll use my leather belt. But uh, this like webbing belt, I like this one a lot. This is, works out really good. Um, of course, I've from my uh, last video, you'll see a lot of these items that I have upgraded. Um, I got the iPhone 4 here in an otter box case. Uh, so I just got this uh, otter box case. Probably quite a few guys got these out there. Uh, but it's sweet. It sits right in there. It protects it really well. Since I'm up on a ladder and I'm out in the elements, it really protects my phone well. Um, it's got just loads of cool features, which you can probably look online in otter box. But it's sweet because it creates its own kickstand and it can just sit up if I'm at my desk or something like that and I want just my phone to be standing up. Um, it can just stand up like that and I can go through my contacts and my calendars and uh, look for map, my maps online for addresses for different places that I'm going. So that's a pretty sweet phone. I love it. When I got After I got it I was saying I don't know how I could have lived without a smartphone. <clears throat> So that's uh, my upgrade from my dare that I had in my last video. Uh, then from from that we can go over to um, I have a Phoenix LD10 flashlight, and uh, this is a sweet little light. Uh, this light puts out 132 lumens in its high um, setting, and uh, it only takes one double-A battery so it's really small really light and uh, I saw the first time I saw this reviewed was from uh, uh, Wrangler Barn um, and uh, so I saw his setup and I really liked it a lot so I ended up getting this light works it works great so most of the time I carry this has a little it's a little sheath here so and this also can go into the uh, the the nightcrawler flashlight holder